everyone and welcome to my channel welcome to this in the middle of the week Wednesday where basically we deal with the hard stuff in recovery and so today the thing that we're dealing what we're dealing with is basically um, what is this one thing that my daughter and I did when we were both dealing with something very very hard which sometimes um, Anything added to your recovery can kind of like exasperate it and make you feel like overwhelmed. So stay with us. So stay with me so we can talk about or why I'll discuss what it was that me and my daughter were talking about, what we did about it. You know what I mean? And so um, and just how basically we were blessed by it. So, OK, so for those of you who do not know, my name is Sheila Rollins. And I am the founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone desiring to overcome anything. We do it with Jesus Christ being our higher power, and also where he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our forgiveness, our cleanliness, our completeness, our wholeness, the things that we thought were impossible, becomes possible with Jesus Christ. We just need to accept what he's done for us, use the tools, you know, the forgiveness and the grace and the mercy that he's given us. And, um, you know, and also to be obedient to his commandments, follow his examples. And even the fourth commandment where it acknowledge, acknowledge, admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. Sorry, I'm kind of cold. And so anyway, um, so yes, if you haven't already become a part of our YouTube family, please join us. It's totally free. Just basically see the word subscribe, touch it. The bell will come up when it does. Touch the bell. And that way you see the word all. Hit all. And um, every time I do a new upload, a new video, more content, you'll receive a notification. And also while you're at it, please share with everyone on all social media platform and um, encourage subscription as you share. Okay. So, so all right. So as you know, um, you know, my daughter has been ill for about three months now and, um, she's had a procedure basically that was supposed to correct the problem, which initially it seemed like it had. However, from the procedure that she was given, now she's having some problems with that and, you know, is needing a recovery. And so basically she was talking to me about, you know, feeling like she's been sick forever, basically. And that she never knew when she wasn't sick. And basically, it feels like she's going to always be sick. And when she said that, it kind of resonated with me. And I was like, wow, wow. I felt that before. I felt that before, you know. Um, and so basically, you know, I started discussing with her exactly when what portion of my life that I felt that like feeling like I'm going to be sick forever never was well you know what I mean um and just what happened you know so okay so if you haven't like tried or visited my other YouTube please do so it's called the pursuit to Christ and also check out the playlist on both YouTubes. Um, this one, Shula Ministries, Overcomers Anonymous, and also The Pursuit to Christ. Um, and just remember that it's different videos on it for other YouTubers. It's not just me. And they don't necessarily have the same belief that I have, you know what I mean? Um, the same standard, you know, whatever that maybe you even have either. However, I thought that it was you know, very good to put the message there. And that's what I was going after. And so for the message is why I've included it. So take it as a piece of fruit, as I like to say, eat the flesh, spit out the seeds, you know, and, um, and also remember my food. It's all fundraisers and basically, um, it's vegan meat alternatives, like almost anything that, you know, mainly a lot of things like the main stuff chicken beef that kind of thing sausages um bacon scrapple 
you know, all those kind of things, right? And everything is just about $7 except for platters or large portions. Um, and also um, the non-dairy ice cream and other desserts. You've got to check them out, okay? And remember, it's fundraising, so they help support the nonprofit, okay? And they keep us kind of floating with the YouTubes and that kind of thing. So please support us. So, okay. So when I start really thinking about like, wow, when did I feel that way? The other thought that I had was that along like, when did I feel that way is this. You never know how the things that you've experienced, like when you overcome, when it's going to come up for another person and, you know, you'll be able to minister to another person um, because of what you experienced. So, okay. So years ago, I had um, the shingles. Okay. Um, I remember when my mother was dying, uh, she told me, she said, Sheila, remember that you've never had the chicken pox. And the crazy thing about me not having the chicken pox is that my, all my siblings had it. Uh, it could have been maybe me and not my brother, Billy. The two of us may not have had it because Billy also got shingle, shingles as an adult too, which is basically adult chicken pox. And so anyway, um, so, okay, I can remember the depression from that and just feeling really, really down, you know, and I remember not taking the medication. What I took was something that's called, it's an herb called echinacea. And so while my doctor wanted me to take five of these pills, you know, that was supposed to make you a little bit loony, I said, listen, now I don't need nothing else to help me in that area. Okay, so I looked it up, you know, found that echinacea was good for like, because it's like a viral type of thing. And so I took five of that and the Lord bless. But however, just the feeling of feeling like really low and like I was never well, never was going to get well or anything like that was just awful. I mean, it was just a really awful feeling and not even knowing whether I was going to ever get well. I think that was the worst thing, waking up every day and feeling the same way day after day, you know. And um, the, another time was when I had a stomach ulcer, like in 2011, I had a stomach ulcer. So what happened regarding that was that um, I was starting to exhibit like diabetic symptoms. And so, um, when my brother, my youngest brother, you know, my maternal younger brother, when he found out that I was having, you know, some diabetic symptoms, he said, Sheila, the things that's going on with you, I can't remember exactly everything, every symptom that I had. Right. Um, but he said, those are some of the things that I was doing when they, before they diagnosed me with diabetic, with, with diabetes. So it scared me, you know, it always scared me because on my father's side, they lose limbs. On my mother's side, they lose their eyesight. It skipped different generations, but generally speaking. And it scared me so bad until I stopped eating all sweets, including fruits. I stopped eating all of them. And so I learned later that we have this uh, bacteria in our stomach um, I think it's a bacteria that's called H. pylori. And so when you have stuff in your system, like, like acidy kind of stuff, like pineapples and grapes, those are like the main things. Um, it kind of combats uh, that H. pylori. And with me stopping all fruits and sweets, especially the fruits, uh, I didn't have anything in my stomach to combat um, those bacteria. So as a result, I got a, a stomach ulcer. And so in getting the stomach ulcer, um, I was sick. I mean, I went from like a size, I'm going to say, uh, eight, about a size eight to a size three, four. I mean, I was tiny and I can remember like having a desire to eat a particular thing and just totally forgetting how I was going to feel after I ate it. 
and would be just sick. And it's funny though, because I don't ever remember vomiting, but I lost a lot of weight. And I think because after a point, I was just scared and I just would not eat. Okay. And as long as, as you know, as, as long as that felt, um, you know, that I was going to, I was feeling bad. It wasn't going to get well. The Lord blessed and I did get well. And so when I start talking about the ulcer, see, my daughter had an ulcer too. She could relate that. She said, you know what? Yeah, that's right. I felt the same way when I had an ulcer. And I did get better. The Lord did heal me. So after the conversation, we both felt hopeful for her. You know, I know I did. You know, because prior before that, I wasn't thinking about her not ever being healed. I was thinking about her being healed, but she was thinking about her not being healed. But the thing did concern me about it taking so long, like, you know what I mean? It was taking so long for her, her healing. So basically, check the description. I have a lot of like healing scriptures in the description. And also, if you want to make a comment, like if there was ever a time in your life where you were sick and you felt like, you don't ever remember being well and that you, you know, it doesn't look like you're ever going to heal. So comment, make that, or, or somebody else that you know, you know, comment about that um, or anything else that you like, or just say hi. Okay. So basically that's all I have for you. Now it's to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. I love you. See you this next YouTube. And remember, the reason why I talk about these topics is because if we're going through this, me and my daughter, I'm sure that there's somebody out there that's going through that. So remember that God is with you and you will overcome. Okay. If that's in God's will for you, okay, you will overcome. If not, when he comes, you will be healed. Either way, you'll be healed, but don't give up on God for it. Keep moving forward. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.